Not all the time, but often when somebody's accessing our office, it could be due to some challenge or hardship that they're going through in their life. And the last thing that I want to do is add an extra layer of difficulty uh, to somebody in this process. I would say something else we do provide, it's not required, is empathy. You know, 90% of the things people are coming here for is not happy. We do try to be understanding and a lot of times um, we are a shoulder to cry on. We do listen to people and, you know, give them every resource that we're able to give them and help them as much as possible. One of my go-to things is to remind them that, um, hey, I've been in your shoes. I know how you feel. Like, and then they see, see like, okay, well, now I can talk to you person to person and you're not just this robot telling me you have to pay your ticket, you have to do this. They're like, oh man, she understands. I think being taken on uh, a role of a servant leader, um, we're here to serve. We're not here to dehumanize you. We're not here to uh, shame you, but, but to make them feel that they were served um, is something that I, I live by. I think it's making a difference in people's lives, even if it's only a little, a short time of their life, and get them out of feeling like they're helpless or hopeless. So I feel like customers are looking for a smiling face to help them with whatever is going on with um, the issue they have, whether it's a traffic case, a, a criminal case, and letting them know their options and what we can do in order to help them get what they need done. You know, it, it's, it's a human element that caring about the community, caring about the public. We, we want them to have a good experience here. 